Now, many of us might have visited the hairdressers this weekend, but a cut and blow dry is nothing compared to this herd of alpaca who have been sheared for spring. Well, their owner, Helen Kendall Smith, <laughs> has been breeding the animals for, for 10 years and to celebrate her anniversary has designed new looks for her flock, which include mohawks, stripes, dinosaur-style spines. Um, we're going to join wow. her now at the uh, Ken Smith Alpaca Farm in Gloucestershire. Morning, Helen. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I've got to ask you, first question has to be, why? Why? Why not? So, well, that, fair enough. That's a, re it's a reasonable a answer. Fantastic... <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been celebrating alpaca for, breeding alpaca for 10 years. And what people don't realise is that the alpaca have to be shorn annually anyway. They're a fibre provider, so you want to get the fleece off because that's their valuable fleece. But more importantly, for the welfare of the animal, they have to be shorn every single year. So as a result, what we've done is leave a little bit on rather than take it all off. And, and they are very glorious specimens behind you. All boys, we should say, and there's good reason for that. Yes, yes. The girls are um, shorn. Every alpaca has to be shorn every year. But in the beginning, you want them to enjoy the experience. So because the gestation period for an alpaca is 11 and a half months, so if you think pretty much all year round, you mate the alpaca when they're two. So from two years onwards, your females are going to be pregnant. So you wouldn't want to be experimenting with anything. You just want to get the fibre off as quickly and carefully and kindly as possible with your pregnant females. Of course, yeah. So we've experimented with our boys because our boys are very, very flamboyant characters. They <laughs> love the attention. They love people. And uh, they've got such different characters that we chose a different hairstyle for each one. So you can either say it's the Hair Bear Bunch on those behind me or um, the Bee Gees, but minus one, whichever one to call it. <sighs> and then with the other animals, what we did was we chose according to their fibre. So some of the animal alpaca have much, much more dense, strong fibre that'll stand up. So the poodle has a fantastically dense fleece, so he can stand up and he's the alpha male of the group. So he loves being the showman for you. And with the dinosaur, we wanted something that was a slinky minx that would slide along. And so the fleece is slightly what we would call in the alpaca world, slightly more open. Um, and therefore it flows and, and goes along with him as he slinks around, giving you his sort of stegosaurus or dinosaurus rex, whatever the name is for the dinosaur. Ah. We had to do a feasibility study. <laughs> because we needed to make sure that the shearers were capable of doing it because they're very, very professional shearers, nothing to be tried at home. And uh, we did it on paper, so we had a look on paper, we did a few cutouts and, and knew what we were doing. And uh, the alpaca love it, and I think everybody else is enjoying it. We've been celebrating breeding alpaca for 10 years, but more importantly, we want everyone to know that alpaca are there, and they're here to stay, and they're a really seriously farmed animal. The fibre is fantastic. Um, Everybody loves it. The feel is really, really good. It's soft. It's almost like cashmere. And they're adorable creatures. They're very, very therapeutic. You can spend time in the field with them when you're feeling really tense. And at the end of the day, all your stress goes away. And wherever I am in the UK, people will come and see my alpaca. They'll go and see everybody's alpaca because they're just such a fantastic well, they creature. Are absolutely gorgeous. And thank you for sharing them with us this morning. Well we saw done, the pictures Helen. on the front of the paper at the weekend. Yeah. And they look we fantastic. had to talk to you. Yeah. Thank you. They thank look, you. Look, no at all. They look amazing. Look, I just wonder whether they're all wandering around looking at each other going, what the hell do you look like? <laughs> What the hell do I look like? What the hell do you look like? Oh, now we're on the telly again. <laughs>